the first day, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's even better. Okay, the sto here's the story, though. The reason I bring this up is because I still have purple nail polish on from that day. And this is, this is like a symbol of... <laughs> no, this is a symbol of band camp and the memories from it. And I just want to keep that as much as possible. And you guys all kept that throughout the season, and I'm so proud of you. And uh, I had something else. <laughs> Let's see. Um, that's true. Um, oh my god, my phone is I forget. And uh, for our next speech, uh, our assistant drum major, Lisa. moment is right now. So, well actually it was when Chris Schneider pants Dennis Doyle, but, <laughs> but since everybody's here right now, this is my favorite moment, because whenever you guys are around, I'm... Oh, no, that was very bad. No, I got a concussion. That was really not fun. <laughs> But this is the next one. Um, Including whatever those are. Yeah, this is a cat and a dog, whatever we're called. No joke books this year, no mix and mask, I don't know. No, no, whatever. Whatever the case, you can have those around your house, give them to your children or whatever you want. We got you a coffee cake. We found out last year that you eat, so now you get dessert too. And you're crummy. That was the joke, you're crummy. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. She has his cake and she needs to. And here's a picture. Here's a picture of the seniors fighting. Framed. There are more to come. I have swords. More pictures. More pictures. Okay. You will get. So this is an Appalachian Spring. <laughs> It came like that. Okay. It be worth more so, money. so now we're officially done taking up your time. Yes. <laughs> oh, so this this particular class has uh, adopted the, the various members have either called me Dab or Papa or um, or other or other names that uh, that I've acquired over the years for, for various reasons, but but uh, it. This is really, as I said before, it's, it's been my favorite year, and, and it's it's hard to put that into words as to why. But things things really worked extremely well in a lot of different combinations. Um, but, but the first thing I had to commend is the, the people that the people that interviewed for and then and then were accepted the position of um, leadership may or may not have known what they got themselves into, but. Right, right away from meetings during the summer to, to uh, 7 a.m. meetings before band camp began, every morning, uh, they, were, they were there and we, we talked for a solid hour about what, we, what, what the goal was for the day, what we were going to work on, and, and, and they, were, they were full of ideas, full of suggestions, and they worked in a cooperative fashion that, that I just had not seen to this day. So and that, and right away I got a good feeling about this year. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't about anybody's show. About anybody being specifically um, the center. The center of the focus or center of attention. It was. It was a community, very co collaborative effort among the leaders, and for that reason, that that really made my job a lot easier. So, um, anything else makes it much makes it much more difficult, more work for me. Um, and, uh, and I think that cooperation spread not among just the leaders, but also for the non-leaders, the non-leaders, which I use that term, non-leaders, in, in a rather funny sense, but really a lot of people that didn't have an official title helped out on many occasions, and I, can't, I couldn't begin to list all of those, but 